and welcome back to Heroes Chronicles Revolt of the Beast Masters. So, last time we were in a bit of a trouble. Um, right. So, I have given a bit of thought into this yesterday, and generally, I have two options right now. Um, they're both just as valid, at least I have found. Uh, one option would be quite standard, is that I take Tarnum. Also, I'm pretty sure that I should go and take care of those griffins first, because I really need gold. Really need it. Uh, but yeah, anyway. That thing needs to be done either way, so uh, the first strategy that I would have here is uh, send Tarnum down here and uh, have him fight against this here enemy hero and reclaim the town. If possible, of course. The army that Tarnum has is not very strong. Thankfully, Deadwood is a good place to buy at least some more creatures. Uh, and that should be enough because at least uh, first time around when Tarnum was fighting all those Crusaders, he did quite well. Uh, what I don't like about this hero is that they have lots of very good skills and they kind of offset whatever things I have. Um, they have uh, probably leadership or some kind of artifacts. Uh, they have uh, tactics, they have ballistics. Even if one of those skills uh, was not present, then I would definitely be able to defeat this hero simply by using the Tsar, but unfortunately it's not so, and I have no idea why they even have that kind of an overpowered hero. Sheesh. Uh, so yeah, the first uh, strategy would be just to have Tarnum send here, and just leave this place as it is, and just send the Tsar to keep the place safe. Another idea that I had is to outright sacrifice this place. Now this town, Hedgewater, does not have any kind of fort. That makes defending the town kind of pointless. Because even if I was to build a fort, I would have to pay 5,000 gold for just a fort, and that would of course not even give me any sort of advantage in terms of attack. Um, and if I wanted to have a citadel, I would need to invest 2,500 more, and that's just a whole lot of money that I could spend elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, that's why I could just abandon Edgewater, leave it for my enemies, and attack the enemy once he gets close with Tsar. Uh, throw everything I have with the Tsar at the enemy, and then once I inevitably have to retreat, uh, rebuy the Tsar at my main town, Deadwood. So that's another way of handling things. That way, of course, the enemy will have two more towns, however, I will be rather safe here because as you can see, pretty much all of the borders of my main town are guarded quite heavily. I have mighty gorgons and lots of crusaders. So yeah, that is another way of doing things. However, I think I should just go with the first idea. Just attack the enemy. Basically because I have the Sword of Judgment, and it makes Tarnum extremely uh, strong. 
Like, defense skill of 34, that's kind of ridiculous. And after I cast Stone Skin and Shield, it's going to be in the 50s. So really, <laughs> I think I can handle it. Right, um, and as for things to do immediately here, I need to collect every sort of resource I can find in this place. I'm uh, not sure what to do with those marksmen. Generally, if I can avoid any casualties, then that would be a good thing. But I do want to get more experience. Actually, how much experience do you need? Uh, less than 2,000. That's still quite a lot. Hmm. Well, either way, let's see what the enemy does. Okay, so they... They are staying here. Thankfully, they don't seem to move as far in the swamp. Which is a good thing for us. And the Tsar can move quite fast there. Let's so land it, take things, take things. And the Tsar will take the other things. Ah, a pack of serpent flies. I could use that gold. And in this town, one thing that is good about this town is that there is a mage guild here. That means I can regain all of my lost spell points quite easily with Dark, with the Tsar. You learned today that not all the creatures of the swamp want to join your fight. These serpent flies have taken resistance in the roof of this water wheel and attacked the moment you approach. Yep. Oh! I forgot to turn off this. The combat. Of course I didn't lose much, so... It doesn't matter a lot. Okay, and... I think I have been in the wolf pen during this day. Oh yeah, Merlanda can give all of her troops to the Tsar, and actually that would be quite a boost. Hmm. If nothing else, I should be able to hold off against Cirrus once she actually gets to my town. I assume that will take a while, unless she just attacks the Crusaders. Hopefully that is not going to happen. Because if she does, then all bets are off, essentially. Okay, attack. Perched above the gold mine entrance are royal griffins, scanning the swamps for the slightest movement. But even mouse could sneak up on them. Do I have enough to cast slow? No, not nearly. Well, I'll have to make do with what I have then. That one. Wow, that was actually quite a lot of damage done by just nine lizard warriors. Uh, yeah, no, actually, wait. Yeah, I want to make sure. Ah! Well, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can still cover this here area by either the basilisks or my serpent flies. So yes, do that. Uh huh. Fine then, I'll attack. Royal Griffins and only 5 damage. Very good. And 9, that means they can attack pretty much anyone. I might as well get rid of all these Griffins. Really? Going to be like that? 
Oh no, I lost a serpent fly. Whatever shall I do? Yeah, but that's a clever ruse to make sure uh, I cannot do anything against them. Oh, hey, I have a straight arrow here. Very good. Oh yeah, and those nulls there are actually kind of a liability. There's no point in attacking me. Any of the griffins with those types of nulls. Well, technically I could attack that griffin, which has like two hit points or something. idea. Yeah, this I can understand. And this was stupid by them. But hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> and there we go. Small losses. And we essentially get 2,000 gold. Because now my enemies won't get that 1,000. That's why I don't really want to give up this town. It gives me 2,000 gold a day. So that would be a loss of 4,000 gold a day. That's quite a lot. Okay, anyway. Zar, you need to go... Ah, I mean Darnum. Jeez, they have so similar names. Okay, I have 5,000. I could really use that city hall, though. Mm. How long will it take for Tarnum to get there? Not very long at all. So I'll build the city hall later, then. Wait, actually, I need to have a mage guild either way. Without that, Tarnum can't regain all of his spell points, and that's something I definitely need. Okay, and what can I do in this? Nothing at all! Well, aim that. Ah! Uh, I. Th I'm not sure what they have, but now they moved a lot faster than earlier. That way, and have Dazar move out of the way as well. Though I probably should have given Dazar more troops. Ugh, I don't know. It depends on whether the enemy will decide to attack Dazar or not. But yeah, my town is pretty much lost at this point. <sighs> I want that city hall, though. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, good. They went back. I received a note this morning asking for a private meeting in the middle of the swamp, well off the beaten path. Of course, I expected a trap. Why else would an Arathian want to meet me? But I took a chance. Using serpent flies, I scouted the surrounding swamp th uh, thoroughly before I approached. If the enemy attacked, I should have plenty of time to escape. Are you the leader of the rebels? The well-dressed man asked. His clothes were too expensive for him to be anything but a noble. We are the Mudlanders, free men, 
Not slaves, not rebels, I credited the man. Oh, I apologize. Accepted, and I am Tarnum. I lead for now, I said. I didn't want this man to know that if I were to die, I suspected the rebellion would collapse and the Mudlanders would return to slavery. The noble explained that not all of Arathia supports King Griffinhart. In fact, if he weren't so powerful, there would have been a coup long ago. So, you don't have the courage to rid yourself of a king you don't even like. What does this have to do with me? Everything. King Griffinhard has sent his own son, Prince Niven, here to face you in battle. I have it on good authority that he fully expects his son to fail. I felt the bile rise in my throat. Griffinhard became more disgusting with each passing day. Why would he kill his own son? I asked. Because Niven is soft on slaves. Because he knows that Niven has the support of all the nobility and he could be used to raise Arathia against him, the noble said. Huh, really? Well, that's interesting. I've seen Niven's compassion towards slaves firsthand. He is the first Arathian I faced that hasn't slaughtered every escaped slave he can find. He's even removed the bounty on slave heads, replacing it with a single bounty for me instead. A smart move, trying to cut, to cut the head off the snake. I still don't know what this has to do with me, I said. What, el what else was this noble willing to reveal? Please don't kill the prince. If you can't turn away, at least spare his life if you should ever defeat him. We would pay a healthy ransom for the prince, if alive. This was interesting, but I couldn't make any promises. I have no intent in acting as Mad King Griffinhart's assassin, I said. But if the good prince gets in my way, neither will I risk the life of even one of my people to keep him alive. Understand? Yes, said the noble. Hmm, interesting, so... People don't like Mad King Griffinhart as well. well. That could be a good thing. And I don't want to leave that wood around there. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess you can trade here. And... Uh, yeah, do it like this. And that... This, that, yes. Also split these nulls into equal parts. Hmm. And that I don't like. Tyrus apparently stayed in the town, which means that she will have all of her spell points back. Uh, that means I can't compete with that in mind. But if Tarnum can get there in time, it won't matter. So, there's also the capital that I may want to get at some point in time. But not right now. Yes, I want to get everything I can. Alright, also merge all of my nulls and split the flies instead. Okay, now that I think about it, what should I do with my leftover money? I could possibly upgrade something, or I could buy something new. 
Bring the gnomes or bring serpent flies? Well, upgrading is always cheaper than buying something from nothing. And Lizard and Den wouldn't help me all that much because I have Lizard Warriors and not Lizard Men. So I will upgrade the Serpent Fly Hive. I hope that still leaves me with a bit of gold that I don't have anywhere to put. Oh, I can buy a Forsaken for that. Very good. No, oh, and of course, time needs to rest anyway. Well, fine. Ah, yes, there were gnomes here. And this art still has three, three spell points. Quite good. So, wait, that turn? What? They didn't even move? Okay. That's even better for me. I guess the enemies don't know that there is another town here. That could explain their absence. So, as long as we keep stealthy, it should work out. Alright, so now I have the chance to either upgrade the Basilisk, well, to buy a Basilisk pet, or upgrade the Null Hut. Mm, I'll take more Basilisks. Oh, I still have more gold left over. Huh. Nothing to buy. Oh, fine. Let's just go down here. Halt! The lead crusader says. You have no right to walk these roads. Prepare for your punishment. Uh-huh. See how well that worked out for your army of 50. <laughs> right, so what should I do with them? I guess the easiest thing to do would be just to destroy them using spells. I don't care if they move far or not. Hi there! attacking this crusader to minimize damage they take. And then have that one attack that crusader. Yep, that should take care of most of our problems. No, oh, four damage. <laughs> Whoops, I had to pause for a bit because of things interrupting me. Um, and I kind of lost track of time now. 
so we'll have to make do with what I have. I guess that might lead to longer videos. So... Yeah, tag that one. Oh no, you killed a no! How could you? Take that! Wow, that was a close one for that giant, huh? Oh, very good. Lost only a single. Ah, uh, no. Oh, wow, that's a lot of gold here. A lot. And... Lots of bars, huh? Again, that gold, I really want that. If that enemy is not going to do anything for a while, then I can just stay here and build up my castle. Uh, now the question is whether or not I can go anywhere that way from here or not, because this is kind of alarming. Now let's go that way then. Ah, yes I can. Very good. I don't particularly care about crystals at the moment. And yes, lots of crusaders here. So I'll leave everything uh, to the Tsar then. Alright, alright, alright. Edgewater still cannot build a fort, but that doesn't matter. Well. Welp! If only I had one more day, I could just rest in Edgewater. However, that means I have to retreat to the swamp immediately. So that means that the Tsar needs to go somewhere that way. Enemy should not be able to follow me because there are no roads here and they are not in their native terrain. Okay, move there. Okay, lots of crusaders. I can even get some wizard men. Earl Rambert expected you to travel this route. Now drop your weapons. You're our prisoners now, shouts one of the crusaders. You assume too much, you say. We will not surrender. Indeed. Oh, that's an even smaller encounter. <laughs> Oh, sure. Just wait around. I wonder why those are waiting. They have no real reason to do so. Oh, that was the reason, I guess. <laughs> well, either way... Attack those crusaders... Attack 
Those Crusaders. And attack these Crusaders. Target. <laughs> Even morale. See, we get morale exactly at the moment we don't need it. <laughs> and they can reach my nose, so I don't have much choice but to attack. even more of them back. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Oh hey, there's a magic well here. Huh, we can use that. And Tazar can use that too. Day seven and the castle. Perfect. And here I still cannot do anything. Well, okay. Regardless, things are looking a bit better now. Even though I have to sacrifice pretty much both of my towns here. But since the cavalry is nearly there, everything should go smoothly from now on. So, see you all next time.